I'm showing you my breadboard right now. A breadboard is a rectangular plastic board with holes for connecting wires, pins of ICs, and electronic components. Underneath these holes are conducting metal strips. Therefore, this series of holes are connected to each other while this long line of holes are also connected to each other. Usually, we connect these red marked holes to power supply while these blue marked holes to the ground. And we do this in order to provide easy access to power supply and ground when we place some electronic components on the breadboard. Now here is an example of an integrated circuit or IC package. So I'm going to place it on the breadboard. What I'm showing you right now is a 74HC595 shift register and it has 16 pins. So let me count the number of pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the other pin. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Usually, the 16th pin is connected to the power supply. As a demonstration, I'll connect it to the power supply. So something like that. And let me connect the power supply holes of the breadboard to an external VCC. Actually, I can connect it to 3 volts as well because the range of the operating voltage supply of 74HC595 is from negative 0.5 volts to positive 7.0 volts based on its data sheet. And based again on the 74HC595 IC datasheet, its ground pin is pin 8. So let me connect the ground of the breadboard to the ground of an external circuit like a microcontroller board. I'm not going to show the other pin connections. The important thing is because of breadboard, we can test IC packages and even large-scale circuit prototypes without soldering the wires and electronic components. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.